Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Lennon, and we are back with episode. What episode is it? Tw uh, 21. Yeah, 21. Of Feed the Beast Departed. So, a blood hunt has begun. So, what we are going to do is run around and see if we can't find some. those blood hunt dudes that like to shoot at us. Because screw them. We've got this bow ready and we can kill some dudes. In the meantime, I was actually preparing some meals. I went ahead and grabbed some milk from um, our buddy the cow. Oh snap. Who are these dudes? Oh, little spooky guys. I like to drain them. My soul. My souls. Thank you. Oh, another one wants to play. I missed completely. So, this episode, I want to go to the nether. Oh yeah. But... Again, the first thing I want to do is try to, you know, get some blood hunt kills. Which, I don't see these dudes, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. So yeah, in the meantime, I wanted to make some cool stuff with this milk that I got from the cow. Uh, so, fresh milk. I thought this was super cool. Uh, I originally thought we were going to have to do, like, you know, individual crap. Oh, get off my farm. Mess up my stuff. So anyway... Not only does the cow seem to always give me milk, there's like no cooldown in between milk barrels, like I thought there was. Uh, if you take a milk, bucket of milk, go, look at that, you get fresh milk. It's awesome! So I have, that's why I have so much milk. So yeah, then you can use the fresh milk to you know, make all the cool stuff. So what I was doing, like I said, was going through and seeing all the things that I can make using milk. It's a decent amount of stuff. I can make some ice cream. Which I might. I might, but I want to make some pancakes. <laughs> uh, and ice cream. Although I think I've already made some ice cream. Uh, where's my salt? There it is. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. It was... Where, where did I put the snowballs? Cool. Salt. Wait, what? You lied to me. Salt, snowball, fresh milk. Oh, and the mixing bowl. My bad. Where's my mixing bowl? It's my mortar and pestle. Is it down here? Is it in here with the wooden stuff? Nope. Alright, how do we make a mixing bowl? That's easy. I always forget where I put my stuff at. So, I'm going to make a couple foods, and then we're going to go hunt, do some hunting. I also went ahead and made a separate chest. Wait, what? There we go. I made a separate chest for food. And I also made some strawberry milkshakes, since uh, I was able to get some milk. So, you know, it's always, again, always good to have a lot of variety. So mixing bowl, ice cream, and uh, not too much, not too much. I could probably make, I wonder if I can make strawberry ice cream. If that's even like the thing. Nah, oh well. Can I do anything with the ice cream? Oh, I can, I can make a banana split, mocha ice cream, mint chocolate chip. Oh, I have a spice leaf, I don't still have any chocolate. Oh, nice. I can make strawberry ice cream. <laughs> Caramel ice cream, cherry ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and pistachio ice cream. Holy cow. Dude, Pam's Harvest Craft is pretty sick. Oh, also, I figured out what to do with the tea shreddings. Uh, I need to make a cup. What? Oh, glass. What? Why would you need glass? It's weird that it needs glass. Oh. Alright, well, we'll hold off on the cup for now. Oh, nice. All the steak's done. We'll worry about the cup later. Uh, what I want to go ahead and do is make some pancakes, and then we're going to go on our way. Pancake. There we go. Ooh, blueberry pancakes and maple syrup pancakes. I have no idea how to make maple syrup. But I can make some blueberry pancakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Eggs. That's what I kept forgetting. The eggs. 
should be in mob drops. Oh, wow, I have a lot of eggs. Way more eggs than I thought I did. No salt. Add flour. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, that's right. In the pan. Which is, or a skillet, which is really easy to make. How do you use, man, a steel pan? Oh, man, things be sticking. <laughs> Pancakes! Nice! Huh. And there's a bunch of chickens actually all over the village, so I probably need to grab some and bring them on over here so I can keep harvesting all their eggs. So I can keep making pancakes. Uh, and then half of these pancakes I'm actually going to turn into blueberry pancakes again for the variety. Boom! Nice. Uh, and then how do we make maple syrup? That doesn't tell me. Why? Why? Why would you tell me? Oh well. It's, there's probably like some process to get it out of trees or something. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to take a moment and do one of those. Oh, butt hunt guy. Fucking get shrekt. Called a linger. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of blood hunting. Now that we have a bow and we can range some people down. So let's put all of our edible awesome food in here, including our ice cream, our blueberry pancakes. Oh yeah, and I found some apples. I need to grab an apple, or no, yeah, you guys know I grabbed some apples. We need to find an oak sapling. I don't have any oak saplings, so I want to make an apple tree so we can do some cool apple-related recipes, because of course there is a bunch of stuff that you can do with apples, so good times. So let's toss all of this stuff in here, uh, and then we can be on our way. Uh, we need to get more sand so we can make some glass. I have a little bit of sand. Okay, well, let's grab our lunchbox, do the old right click. Oh, there's one of our guys. All right, buddy. All right, let's eat. Where's he at? All right, there he is. I need to grab more arrows because he's pro I'm probably going to miss bunch of times because I suck oh that hurt man it does hurt when it hits you directly wow that hit we got him yeah you better run away Boom. Oh. snipe just kidding snipe snipe wow, what a jerk All right, this guy's closer Dudes are not easy to hit, especially at night. Wow, oh, they have a lot of health. Not enough health! Oh. Did he drop his... Nice, nah, got some abyss, abyss realm stones. I don't think we can, like, ever hit that guy. Oh, that's right. Other monsters. <laughs> Blood mist. No, come back. Man, I, we didn't really accomplish much. Kind of sad. I mean, we killed one, which is pretty sweet. Whoa. Ha, ah, you fell. <laughs> No, no. Woo. Okay, well, we didn't get too much done in the uh, the old blood hunt, but that's okay. We got some kills. Which reminds me, I want to make that book with... Is that it? No, that's some Thomcraft stuff. Book of Shadows? Is that what I want to make? No. Big writing book. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is. I could have swore there was a bestiary that we could make. We just couldn't make before because we didn't have any paper. Let me just kind of thumb through here real quick. There's so much cool stuff. Oh, by the way, um, Previous episode, so the entire the entire series that's gone on so far, uh, 
The pack is never updated. Departed has never updated. Yes, or last episode, I mentioned that you know, no updates had happened. And uh, as soon as I closed out and was finished recording for the evening, it updated. So this, this is, we were playing on an updated version of Feed the Beast Departed, I think 1.1 1. 1 or something like that. Let me double check. We are on version, yeah, 1.1.1 1. 1. 1 is the version that I am playing on, Feed the Beast Departed. Uh, a few things updated, nothing too significant. Of course, Advent of Ascension updated because it was actually uh, a few versions out of date. So more things have been added, new, whole bunch of new stuff. Not super sure what exactly they are, uh, but from what I could tell just from glancing through the change notes, just because I didn't want to like, see too much, you know. Um, it just mostly looked like in-game stuff, so no worries. Well, that's where all the snowballs are. Right there, there's snowballs in there. Alright, so like I said, this episode I want to go to the nether. Uh, I think we're kind of as tooled up as we're going to get for now. Uh, like I said, I just kind of want to get there, get established, and then kind of take a look around and see what things are, are actually going to be like. Uh, so to do that, we're going to probably want to take a blast chiller with us. 10 range damage, 8 range damage, very slow, fast, okay. I was kind of trying to judge which one I should take with us. I think I'm going to take that with us too and make some bullets. Cool. Yeah, close this up. Grab some more stuff and then have a little eat. Full. Nice. Oh, we're munching on our blueberry pancakes already? Come on. And our ice cream? This is such a balanced meal. We got pancakes, steak, pork, potatoes, ice cream, and a strawberry milkshake. We're going to dump off the stuff that we know for a fact we're not going to need. Uh, we're probably not, probably not going to need our flower pouch. Uh, mana's going pretty well. We got a nice amount of mana going. I got a little bit of mana in here. Uh, Batania also updated. And actually, I didn't check to see if I need a mana tablet. Yep. Actually, do I? I can't tell. Yes, okay, so it's a good thing I went ahead and actually made this mana tablet because now you do need mana for the Soul Gender Sash. See, I knew it. I, just, I had a feeling that something was going to happen. I, I swear, I had no idea that the pack was going to update. I just went ahead and made that just to like be safe just in case it did. It did. So, good times, good times. So I need, I don't actually think I have any flint or gravel. Uh, I've been kind of looking through the chests a little bit and I haven't seen any. I could have swore I had some, but I guess not. So on our quest for more sand, we also need to grab ourselves some gravel. Um, something that was also mentioned, because I've kind of read a few like hints and tips, like I mentioned towards the beginning of the series, uh, of what to do exactly. Just so I'm not like wandering around aimlessly lost, no clue what to do. Uh, it, it mentioned that we should probably look to enchant some of our gear before heading into the nether, uh, which probably is a pretty good idea. We should probably look to do that. So this, epi this episode, we should probably make... Ooh. Oh, you sell stuff. You guys are the... Lo oh, yeah, the lotto guys? Oh, no. You guys aren't the lotto guys. You guys don't really sell anything too interesting. Oh, yeah, we're going to make an enchantment table and see if we can't get some enchants going. Uh, now, to do that, we're going to have to raid one of these villages, or raid the village of all of its books, so we can make a bunch of bookshelves. So I don't think there are any type of, like, other enchantment tables other than just the vanilla enchantment table in this mod pack. Oh, well, the open blocks auto enchantment tables in here, and the Thomic Tinkerer Osmotic Enchanter. We should jump into Thomcraft at some point. That might be good. There's some really good tools in Thomcraft that will probably be really, really useful. Uh, but I think the auto enchant doesn't the auto enchantment table require like some crazy shit to work? Uh, well, I'll, I'll look into that in a little bit. Let's continue our search for sand and gravel. Oh, we're pretty much actually kind of good on sand. Now we just need gravel. And actually, I don't want. I don't want. Oh no, there's gravel. There's gravel. So I'm gonna actually harvest this gravel. I'm gonna cut, you know, to save some time because this is just like some BS stuff. 
no one cares about. Well, I'm sure some people might care about it, but, you know. Come on. All right, I have arrived back safely at Thick Town, and these guys are, like, trying to... Trying to they're, like, stepping to me, man. All right, let's do it. Ugh! Horn drawn. That's a name. We're getting Shrek, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think... Like, I always... I thought the axe was supposed to have, like, a wide radius, but it, it doesn't really seem to have wide radius like a one by nine radius or something like that I know the scythe does for sure uh, but I've never I've never made the, uh, the battle axe before like I said when I made it uh, while we were out we should have chopped down some should have chopped down some trees and see if I could have got an oak sapling so we can get some some apples growing that's okay though because I, I went ahead and made some flint and steel and I actually would like to make a second one because I always like to have a flint and steel on both sides of the nether just in case, like, some crazy stuff happens. Which is probably the case. More than likely going to happen. So, as I was saying about the tea, uh, I figured out how to use these tea leaves and, and all that fun stuff to go ahead and make the tea I was talking about. The tea shreddings. What we need to make is a cup and a tea sink. Something that I did not know at all. Well, I can make a tea set from DecoCraft. Cool. There we go. Tea sink. Tea sink full. It's really easy to make. I just didn't know that it existed. <laughs> kind of feel like that's something that might should maybe be in the book at the beginning. So the tea sink is kind of cool in that, it, you know, it's a cool little structure, which I actually think I'm going to put. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put you on a block so you don't look dumb. Cool. Okay, let's make some tea. So all we need to do actually to make some tea. Now I, I'm making this tea for a reason. Currently our vitality is at like nothing. And if we're going to the nether, we're going to want to make sure that we are up to snuff as far as our critical strike chances go, which is greatly affected by our vitality. Now if you've forgotten, our vitality is, I'm not really sure how I can show you, but it's, it's like right here. There you go. It's right. It's right on top of the torch. If you can see where the torch is on the right. There we go. That is our vitality bar. Right next to where the... Like right... Right there is the vitality bar. Currently it's empty. It's empty because we have... It's it's cold, I guess. And, you know, we're not warm. And we need our vitality bar to be full. Now the cooking fire was... Or the cooking... Not the cooking fire. The fire that we made. The campfire was supposed to help with that. But it, it didn't really seem to do anything. So, yeah. Uh, but now that we have some Sasquatches, or Sasquatch Eye, or however you want to say it, uh, to fight, uh, they've dropped us some awesome tea leaves that we've been able to turn into some tea. So what we're going to do here in a second is go ahead and make some tea. Uh, but before I forget, I want to make some more arrows. Because I will forget. So, tea. We need to grab ourselves a couple buckets, grab some water, which we can do pretty easily. And then one bucket of water will get you two... Oh no, maybe it's three. Yeah, it gets you three... three tea. Now, there's actually a couple different types of tea that you can make. There's, um... Let's take a look. Tea. There's regular tea. Good old tea. There's fungal tea. And there's natural tea. Uh, the natural tea is the strongest tea. The fungal tea is pretty good, but it gives you the nausea effect. And then regular tea is just regular tea. Uh, I think it's 100. Regular tea will give you 100 vitality. Fungal tea will give you 125. And natural tea will give you 150. And natural tea doesn't require tea shreddings. That's The natural tea can be made using these natural melon slices. That's what these guys are for, which makes me think, can I make seeds? And if I can't make seeds, can I plant them? Which we'll test that in a second. I want to make some tea. So I, I'm not actually sure how to do this. I think just right click and right click. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh wait, I have to keep making. Do I really have to keep, I have to make a whole bunch of 
cups. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay, well, in that case, what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a few more cups, make some more tea, and then I will be right back. We're back. And I, I went ahead and made some of the natural tea. Uh, and then I'm going to make the last of the... There we go. So I have three tea and then one natural tea. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this nat nature melon slice. Because there's like no recipe or anything and I can't plant it. All I can do is like eat it. And I can't make any melon seeds out of it or anything like that. So I'm just going to hold on to it just to make sure I have at least one. Oh, I got a turnip. When did I get a turnip? Oh, some tomatoes. Sweet. Ooh, I got a peanut. Sick. Probably do some cool stuff with peanuts. Okay, so I think at this point we're ready to go to the nether. At least, like, at least semi ready to, like, go there and say hey. And then swiftly leave. So, actually, the only thing I want to take with me, actually, is some cobblestone. All right, so let's head down to our nether portal. I don't know why I cut. <laughs> Forgot it wasn't very far away. I'm used to all my nether portals being like super far away. Uh, okay, so like I said, we were, we were supposed to go and explore that abandoned mine shaft, but I went mining a little bit, and uh, I kind of, kind of poked around in there a little bit, and there really wasn't much to see. I mean, I'll, we'll probably go. I didn't really go in there too much, but at, at some point, I'm sure we'll take a look and see how it is. So here we go. We're traveling to technically our first dimension from the overworld. In Abbot of Ascension slash Feed the Beast departed. So I'm super stoked. Here we go. Let's, let's hope we don't die like as soon as we... That would suck. Okay. So there are... Apparently there's a mob around here somewhere that we should never look at. <laughs> because it will kill us. Or we'll teleport to it if we look at them. So we're going to kind of try and be on Enderman mode like we're in the end. So let's kind of look at the ground. Don't look at anybody. Don't make eye contact. Don't talk about nobody's mama. You know, that whole thing. We don't want to start any fights. And we want to quickly, quickly barricade ourselves before we have to fight anything nasty. Because I don't really think we're ready for it. And I don't want to lose all my stuff. Kind of throwing together a quick old cobblestone shack to make sure we're safe ish. So I'm curious what that guy over there is. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, a hound. Oh, yeah, that guy. I'm curious what those guys over there are actually because uh, I've read a few things. There's actually a few mobs that we need to look out for. A few enemies out here that drop some really good stuff that's going to help us going forward. Plus, we really, 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 really need to find another fortress. Oh my goodness, there's actually one right there. <laughs> nice, okay. So, next episode, we're probably going to come back. Of course. Because it's the next episode. Um, and we're going to try and make our way towards that another fortress. We also might try fighting these two guys right here. But we'll see. Uh, another fortress is definitely our top priority. Because one of the most important things that I read is that we are ready and tooled up for the nether because the nether is no joke I mean the nether is usually not too much of a joke but yeah exceptionally not a joke so thanks for watching guys I have been Landlin like I said we're going to come back next episode try to conquer this uh, nether fortress try to conquer those two enemies over there we got ourselves a nice little safety area where we can call a temporary nether home now we're not going to like you know transfer all of our stuff here or anything but I might build this out bring a couple chests in here and just kind of get ourselves nice and and uh, prepared, you know, have ourselves a little outpost. So thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, as you can see, we got ourselves a nice, awesome buff for entering the nether for the first time. And our vitality went all the way up for some reason. That's a little weird. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.